Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is shown below is a portion of multiple sequence alignment based on this information you can say and we have to choose one of these answers. So let's take a look at this table. We have human, chicken, fruit fly, mouse, zebrafish and worm sequence of the certain polypeptide which we think evolutionary connected. So of course in each animal the sequence accumulated certain changes and by comparing such changes we can say how certain animals or it can be plants evolutionary connected and we can build evolution tree and we can say that certain animals is more related to each other than the other. Each letter here stands for one amino acid for example D stands for the aspartic acid I for the isoleucine, R for arginine, alanine, Q for glutamine and Y for tyrosine. So today we are comparing amino acid sequences. Sometimes we also can compare DNA sequences but DNA sequences are going to be more degenerative because the third position in codon can be different but still such codon would specify different codons the same amino acid. So DNA code is more prone to changes. But today we are comparing amino acid sequences. So the first question positions 1, 3 and 5 contain absolutely conserved residues. Let's compare position 1 represented in all species by the same amino acid D aspartic acid. So we can say that this is 100% conserved position. We have only one amino acid here. And as for the number 3 we see the same picture. It is also conserved uh, amino acid in this position. So we can say that position number 1 and number 3 are conserved. This means that these positions number 1 and 3 in all the species in this particular protein is very important and change to any other different amino acid would change the function of the protein. So we see that these two positions are very conserved. And as for the position number 5, we see that in one species we have here one amino acid, two in three. It is Q. We have three variants. And in other three we have another amino acid. So three plus three. And that means that this is not absolutely conserved residues number 1, 3 and 5. It is true for number 1 and 3 but is not true for number 5. So this is false statement. Now let's check the second statement. Positions 1 and 5 are most conserved positions in this sequence. This is also false statement because we know that number 1 and 3 is the most conserved positions in this sequence. Now let's check statement C. Positions 2 and 6 are the least conserved positions in this sequence. In some species we see isoleucine here in two species actually. So let's put 2. In other we see leucine 1, 2 species. So also 2. And we also see valine in two species. So also two variants. Now let's check six. Here's the position number six. Y stand for the tyrosine and we see in two species. So two. We see lysine in one species. So one. We see also proline in one species. So also one. And we see tyrosine. We already put it here. And then we see aspartic acid. So we put another one here and glycine. So another one here. Can we say that these two positions is least conserved? Actually let's check this position number four. We see alanine in two species. So let's put two here. And we see serine in one species. We see glutamic acid in one species. So also just one. K stands for the lysine and F for the tryptophan. 
So one and one. Now we can see that least conserved going to be position number four and number six. And we offered here two and six, which is also not true. So now we can choose that correct answer is going to be answer E. None of the above is true statement. Of course, nowadays nobody is doing this type of job, multiple sequence alignment manually, and it's done by software and computers. But I hope now you have idea how multiple sequence alignment works. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.